India is conquering the moon and that too, the unexplored side. If successful, this mission, Chandrayaan-2, will secure India's stature as a space superpower. It would mean that India has the capacity to soft land on the moon. On Beyond Edit tonight, we discuss if this is India's biggest scientific achievement. There is a strong case for it. Let's look at what Chandrayaan-2 could achieve. India would be the first country on the unexplored South Pole. It will map the surface and study the atmosphere. The lander will measure the quakes on the moon. The rover will analyze the soil. Such studies will enhance our understanding of the moon. The Chandrayaan-2 orbiter will circle around the moon for one year. It will collect information on minerals on the moon and search for water. That is the most sophisticated search for water on the moon. Chandrayaan-2 is equipped with infrared imagers and radars. Put simply, this heralds a new era for India's space missions. Let me put this in context. The US, Russia and China had a head start in space missions. ISRO has been around for five odd decades and it's on its way to lead the world on the moon now. Plus, it's cost efficient. India has spent $150 million on this mission. And that's less than the budget of Hollywood film Interstellar. Beat that. It's also a good time to revisit India's contribution to science. And this doesn't get the attention it deserves. It was an Indian who first related the temperature of stars to the spectrum, Meghnath Saha. It was an Indian who first found the triple helix structure of a protein, G. N. Ramachandran. We remember Einstein, but many of us do not remember Satyendra Bose, who contributed heavily to quantum statistics. And this is just a sample of some remarkable yet unsung Indian scientists, from C. V. Raman to Srinivas Ramanujan to Vikram Sarabhai to Chandrasekhar. Indians have led several areas of science. Chandrayaan 2 will be a glittering achievement in that proud tradition, a milestone moment in Indian science. Chandrayaan 2 is also about national pride. When the Vikram lander touches down, India's flag would have reached the moon. And that to the south pole of the moon, where no country has ever gone. This is a big moment, and we hope this is just the beginning. The sky literally is the limit.